Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The Curse of Oak Island The swamp is drained to reveal a new human-made feature. This week on The Curse of Oak Island, the team finally got back to work in the swamp and appeared to have made a huge discovery that connects the paved area to the stone roadway. After a hiatus of over a year, the guys finally got back to draining the swamp and almost immediately revealed a human-made structure that appeared to be a ramp. It was Billy Gerhardt's time to shine as we learned he's been working hard behind the scenes to get the guys back in the swamp. The owner of Gerhardt Property Improvement has been a regular feature on the show for years, usually behind the controls of a digger. However, this season we've mostly only seen him sitting quietly during meetings in the war room. That all changed last night when Billy announced that he had helped to secure the proper permits from the Nova Scotian government, allowing the guys to recommence excavating the swamp. According to Rick Lagina, Billy was intimately involved in that process, and they were now free to continue working in the area. The guys had been banned from most of the swamp since last season after they unearthed 2,000-year-old First Nation Mi'kmaq pottery. But it looks like Billy's local connections may have finally come to the rescue. Billy has a good personal relationship with Nova Scotia Premier Tim Houston, equivalent to a state governor in the U.S., and previously organized a visit to Oak Island for the province's head honcho. It seems possible that that relationship may finally be showing some positive results for the fellowship. Work on the Oak Island swamp started immediately. The guys began draining the swamp straight away, and Billy moved his digger in. Geophysicist Jeremy Church and his colleagues from Panther Geoscience had previously used a magnetometer scanner to collect data on metallic objects in the swamp. They then identified a number of key objects buried about three feet under the surface. The largest and most promising-looking reading was in an area that was difficult to access. Even a drained swamp can be very wet with parts difficult to access with heavy machinery so the guys decided to aim for another spot by the paved area. This paved area was first discovered in 2017 and has been dated by Ian Spooner to be up to 800 years old. Paved area appears to be linked to the stone roadway by a ramp. The guys haven't found any metal objects yet, but they did come across more cobblestones, which led them to believe they'd found a ramp connecting the paved area with the stone roadway. This could be huge, as it means the two features may have been built for the same purpose. It also indicates a growing road network hidden under the swamp. There have been a number of theories regarding who built the stone roadway, and when and why. The leading theory amongst the team that seemed to be gaining traction last year was that the Portuguese built it about 500 years ago, to transport treasure. The episode stopped before we learned any more, but viewers can expect the number of archaeologists on the show to increase again as the guys try to figure out what's going on.